Hi everybody, I wanted to show you a new feature in Profit Charts. Uh, this one is a watch list filter, which is a real time saver. Let me show you how this works. Uh, you're probably acquainted with uh, these modules here, the chart toppers, the sectors, and the watch list modules. Any of these can be activated uh, from the modules drop down here. So I've selected these three. And I use these, but the thing I've always um, kind of disliked about them is that they take a lot of time because as I'm going through these, um, there's a lot of repetition. Uh, you know, the, the most actives tend to be the same each day. They tend to be things I'm already following. Uh, a lot of the stocks are too low priced or too thinly traded to be of interest. So, you know, like chart harbors alone might be 210, literally 210 different um, symbols only say 10 or 20 of which I actually would find interesting. So the vast majority of time uh, is just wasted. Same with sectors. There are thousands of stocks within sectors. Most of them I have no interest in. Um, so the filters gives you a way to save yourself time and aggravation by stripping away the stuff that you just don't care about. So you click on apply filters and you can uh, restrict what's displayed in a number of ways. You can set the price to be a certain minimum or maximum. Minimum's probably what you're after. Like if you're not running around trading penny stocks, um, you might want to set a dollar figure here. I've put three. Maximum, I don't really care about. I mean, there's not a lot of Berkshire Hathaway six-figure type stocks running around, so I don't really bother with that. But uh, you can set it if you want. And then the volume, this is also important. I'm not interested in something that trades 5,000 shares a day. Um, I'm actually putting this pretty low, 250,000 a day. You might set it to a million or a higher figure than that. Uh, you can also choose whether to show only stocks that are optionable or not. That is stocks on which options are written. And down here, you can choose to include or exclude uh, stocks based on certain properties. Tagged are those items which you have highlighted yourself, those that are showing up in a bold face. And you can choose to include or exclude those which are tagged. I'm just going to leave those blank because I don't care either way. And then in watch list, this is very important to me. I want to exclude any symbols that are already in my watch list. Um, so that'll really save a lot of time. And on the left here, these are the three different uh, modules that you can apply this to. Now I'm not going to click on watch list because it'll show nothing at this point given my check right here. Uh, and I'm perfectly happy the way my, my watch list are as they are. So sectors and toppers, I definitely want to apply this to. So um, let's, by way of example, kind of backwards, show you how this works. So I, I'm applying these filters. And now if I go up to chart toppers, you can see this um, green bar appears that says that it's filtering and that's finished. And it notes that symbol filters being applied. This is a very handy way of it emphasizing that uh, these are being applied. As you can see here, there's a couple of instances under percentage gainers that there's no expansion symbol. That is, I'm already following these, um, so they're empty. Uh, whereas up here, I can see there are the survivors uh, of the symbol as based on the restrictions I gave. So now, as I go through these, I can just, um, using the down arrow on my keyboard, swiftly go through these uh, particular symbols. And uh, by the same token, close chart toppers here and choose sectors instead, uh, the formerly thousands of symbols that were under here uh, is going to be a more manageable list. Now, let me take away the filters just to kind of emphasize what this is doing here. So, for example, um, let's just expand these couple of lists here in which there's only one symbol left. If I click on the X, which gets rid of the symbol filters, then as you can see, a much longer list. So before we just had two symbols to look at and without the filters, there's several dozen. So we've saved ourselves a lot of time. Same idea under chart toppers. Uh, symbol filters are being applied right now. And if I zap those filters, list gets a lot longer. So uh, very simple to use. Again, you go to watch list, apply filters, and you can set these to your liking. And uh, I'm pretty excited about this feature because I love those modules, but I really refrained from using them because there was so much junk I didn't want to see. No longer. Our liberation is at hand. That's it. Enjoy.